In today's video, it's garden cleanup. It's a small area. It's probably about 25 feet by 25 feet. I'm clearing it up step by step. When I say that, I mean that literally. I spend most of my working day sat at a desk working on a computer. Chemotherapy, it took away the strength from my arms, my legs and my limbs. So I need to do something. Sitting on the keyboard all day long, it's not a good idea. So when I do this video or when I'm doing the work, you'll see me walking a lot. Please don't shout at the screen. I know I can make my life easier if I brought the wheelbarrow closer. I know that I can make life easier if I use more power tools. This video is not about making my life easier. It's about pushing my body a bit and getting strong again. I'm not sure where the video will end. Maybe I give up. Maybe I get a digger in just to scrape everything away. But I'll give it my best shot. I know that there's tons and tons of um, trying to think of, polite, of a polite way of putting it, but debris, old buckets, old flower pots, old wheelbarrows, all kinds of rubbish that's been dumped in that corner and left to rot over the years. Unfortunately, plastic doesn't rot. It lives pretty much forever. So there's going to, going to be lots of that, lots of metal and lots of glass too. Let's see what the video is like. Your guess is mine. I'll do my best and I'll have some fun and I'll definitely get my exercise. Okay, please subscribe and thanks for watching. Yeah, so in the previous video, we cleared this area. Me and my son William, it was an incredible job. I'll put a link to it. But this is the area that we didn't get around to. So you can see there's a greenhouse there. You can see there's some more ivy and stuff to be removed. So that's what I'll get on with today. When we first bought the house, we had no idea there was a greenhouse. The whole garden was overrun with brambles and with, with ivy, ivy that cascaded down the big trees all the way to the ground. So when we found this greenhouse, it was a real surprise. We were hoping that that was where the, the gold was hidden. Sadly not. We did find lots of plastic pots in there and lots of other stuff as well. None of it useful. Well, that's not true actually. In there, through that little window you can see now, is an old ceramic, an old stone Belfast sink. It's still there for the moment. Looking forward to eventually getting that out and seeing if it's any use. I'm not sure how the, the roof withstood all the years. Probably the, the ivy and everything that's on top of it protected it in some way. Oh, look at me go. I wish I could move this fast in real life. The roots get everywhere. And they certainly get under my feet when I'd go and move. I can't imagine the smell that's coming from that water butt. And soon I'll tip the thing over and then I'll know how bad it really is. I found weeds, I found roots, I found metal sticks, I found all sorts but no pile of gold. Maybe it's hidden somewhere else. Occasionally, found something useful. Look at this old fork here. Sadly, it's pretty rusty, but I think we can clean it up.
This vine's only an inch, inch and a quarter thick, but others are much, much thicker. I was surprised that even though the property's been empty for a long time, there's no sign of foxes, rabbits, badgers, any kind of wildlife at all. I'm pleased on one hand, but surprised on the other. Against the fence you can see broken glass, you can see a metal frame that's buried in the garden. I think it used to be a wheelbarrow but there's no way to lift it out at the moment. I brought this extra wide fork. It's supposed to be used in stables, but it's great for, for shoveling wood chippings and also digging up or lifting up these big piles of roots and debris. plan for the pile of clay behind me is to leave it over winter. Uh, the frost and the cold weather and the rain will beat it down to a smaller volume and then in the coming year it will be spread across the garden. Ivy's grown up all the way through the apex of the roof. The roof plastic's brittle, so I dare say that will have to come off and get replaced. This is just some of the plastic that we've collected so far. Plenty more to come.
beautiful rose on the corner of the greenhouse. We're going to try and keep that one. Occasionally, very occasionally, I wish I was taller. It would have made this job easier, but probably not as much fun. Pulling the ivy off the wall, it's really satisfying. I can't tell you why, but once it's finally gone and you see the wall behind it, it makes me feel good. very symbolic because these are the first brambles we've had from Bramble Cottage. Let's see how good they taste. Almost makes all of the effort worth it. great to see the free pile of wood growing by the day. Since making this video it's growing even bigger because I had a large donation from the next door neighbour. So what can be better than that?
should have tackled this corner first because it's definitely the hardest. I'm getting tired now, it's towards the end of the day and eventually I'll give up on this one. But let's just try a little bit more first. There's an old cold frame made of brittle plastic against the wall. It's full of old wet fertilizer. That'll be coming out, but not today. Okay, that's me finished for the day. Uh, I'm just doing this step by step. Just so that you know, this area behind me, it's about 20 feet by 20 feet. So seven meters by seven meters. So far from this small area, I've cleared up. That much plastic, metal, and polythene. It's incredible. None of it can be used because it's all too brittle. I just need to take it to a landfill. What a terrible waste of resources. was three hours of work, work that I didn't really want to start. I wasn't really in the mood when I started this morning, but as my mum always used to say, get outside in the fresh air and it'll do you good. 
by the time I finished, I was a bit tired, but very fulfilling. I didn't get as far as I wanted. I decided that in the end, the best way forward now is to get the digger in to scrape away some of the um, metal and stuff that's grown into the soil over the years. I could do it if I had to, but in this case, there's very little return on the investment. Lots of energy to try and pull out wire meshes that have been just left there and overgrown with ivy and soil and, and roots. The digger will come in within about 30 minutes. He'll have the whole, air, whole area scraped out. I'll then put down a, a breathable membrane to stop roots coming through and we'll cover the whole area with wood chip. And that way we'll have a, a low maintenance corner for the future, somewhere where I can stack the wheelbarrows and the other tools that I don't need very often. Hope you enjoyed the video. It was a pleasure to, to go outside and work, but it's going to be a pleasure now to drink my coffee. Thanks for watching. And as always, please subscribe. Bye for now.